Hey, seventh graders. Today, our exploration is on why area of a circle is pi r squared. And of course, Scoop loves a nice big area on her circular frisbee to bite onto. Watch her chew. So today we're going to learn where the area of a circle formula comes from and you can follow along at home by using a paper plate. And so what I've drawn on my paper plate is my diameter, which is made up of two radiuses. Um, I've also drawn my circumference in two different colors, so I've got two half circumferences. And the area is the space that the plate takes up. And so starting in third grade, we learned that the area of a rectangle is length times width. Well, how do I measure something that takes up space that doesn't have a length and a width? Well, here's how. So what you can do is you can take your paper plate and you can cut it into eight slices. So in this case, I cut it into eight, you could cut it into more. And we're gonna arrange them like a rectangle because we know area of a rectangle is length times width. And so I'm gonna arrange my pieces with all my red edges on one side and all my blue edges on another side. The smaller I cut my strips, the more accurate this will be, but I'm just gonna use eight strips right now. And when you take the circle and you cut it into these strips, you have something that's shaped slightly rectangular. So I know this isn't a perfect rectangle, but it's a kind of rectangle. So this is a kind of rectangle, actually more of a parallelogram. We're just gonna use an approximation here because what we've learned is that area is length times width of a rectangle. So here the question becomes, what is my length and what is my width? So in this case, this is my width here. Well, that orange line, that's just half your diameter. That's your radius. So instead of writing width in the formula, I'm just gonna replace that with a radius. Now here's the tricky part is how do I figure out what the length is? Well, if you look closely, the length is just half the circumference. So my length is half the circumference. I've got the same half on top and the same half on bottom. So my length is one half the circumference. Well, what we've learned previously is that circumference is made up of pi times the diameter. So this would just be half the pi times the diameter. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't half the diameter just the radius? So what we can do now is we can substitute in our formula for length, pi r. And now I can simplify this formula when I have two variables times itself, that is r squared. So this is why the area of a circle formula is pi r squared. It comes from the area of a rectangle formula. So your big takeaway from today should be that the area of a circle formula basically comes from length times width, where the length is half the circumference, pi r, times the width, which is the radius r. And that gives us our area of a circle formula. This is your gold star note of the day, that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So if we assume that pi today is gonna to be 3.14 and we are given a circle with a radius of five, we can substitute those numbers in for the variables. If I substitute in 3.14 for pi and five for radius, I would square that to make it 25. 3.14 times 25 is 78 units squared. If I'm given a diameter instead of a radius, I need to plug in half of that diameter. So in this circle, my diameter is 16, so I'd use eight for the radius. When I square that, it's 64, eight times eight. And 3.14 times 64 is 296 hundredths units squared. 
I hope you enjoy the area of a circle as much as Scoop enjoys the area of her circular frisbee.